Hi guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Um, today we're gonna do a summertime staple, um, but we're gonna do it with a little bit of a twist on a couple levels. So we're gonna make a potato salad, um, but we are going to make a creamy dill pickle potato salad, and we're gonna use my favorite kitchen appliance, the Instant Pot, to do it. So let's talk about what you're gonna need if you wanna try this recipe. So first and foremost, an Instant Pot. This is the air fryer um, Instant Pot combo, um, and we're using just the regular Instant Pot lid for that today. It does come with an air fryer lid as well. Um, you're gonna to wanna to have like a trivet or some kind of a vegetable steamer um, that you can put in the bottom. Ingredient wise, you're gonna want about three pounds of potatoes that you've scrubbed clean and cut into, you know, potato salad size pieces, like so. And we're just gonna dump those right into our pot. Okay. Now we're gonna add about one cup, a little bit more if you like, of, I'm using hot tap water. This is just to help the pot pressurize. And then, we're gonna add some eggs um, because we're gonna want our eggs um, for our potato salad. We can cook it all at the same time. So I'm just gonna kind of uh, make a bit of a nest, yeah, if you will, in the center of my pot. Maybe I can bring you over and show you this. Hold on here. I'm gonna make a little bit of a nest in the center of my pot there. And to that, I'm going to take, I'm gonna do six eggs. Now I'm probably only gonna use about three or four in the actual potato salad. Um, but I'm gonna save the others for something else, egg salad or something. So I'm gonna just lay those on top of my potatoes. And at this point, we are just going to put the lid on our pot. You can hear it do its little jingle when you lock it into place. And then we're going to use our manual pressure setting. So we're gonna go pressure cook. Um, now it's on, the last time I used it, it was for 15 minutes. We definitely don't want 15 minutes. But what we are gonna do is a six minute I'm gonna hit start. Six minutes at manual pressure, and then we're going to let it count up after it's finished pressure cooking for another six minutes, and then we're gonna take our eggs out. The potatoes are gonna be perfectly cooked for our salad. We're gonna take our eggs out, and we're gonna put them in a cold water bath to just kind of stop the cooking and help the eggs have that magical quality of just being able to almost scoot out of their shells, okay? So that's, we're just gonna kind of push our pot to the back here, and we're gonna forget about that. What else are we gonna need for our salad? Well, when everything is done and cooled, we're going to need um, one cup of chopped dill pickle, your favorite brand, um, some minced onion, which is gonna go in the dressing. Um, I've got probably three quarters of a cup of that, I would say, but you don't have to use all of it. You can only use a few tablespoons if you're not so fond of onion. And just a little bit, maybe a half cup of chopped celery, just for a little extra crunch. I've got about a half a cup of chopped bacon that I um, cooked crisp this morning and just finally chopped with a knife. And I've got about a cup or maybe a little bit better of shredded old cheddar cheese. Okay, so that's gonna be for in our salad. And our dressing is gonna consist of half cup each of, I've got a light mayo here and I've got a fat-free sour cream got a few tablespoons of pickle juice, some salt and pepper, and normally I would like to use fresh dill, but since I don't have fresh dill, I went into my pantry and I found a packet of dill pickle salad dressing or dip mix. I'm going to probably use a few tablespoons of that, not the whole thing. This is an entire package. I'm going to probably use a few tablespoons of that as well. So that's going to be our dressing. So let's get started on worrying our dresser, dressing together while everything else in our pot is cooking. This is going to take maybe 10 or 15 minutes to pressurize and then it's going to start counting down for us and you'll and depending on your model, you'll hear an audible beep when that starts happening so that you know. And of course, as always, make sure your pot is in a sealed position. Mine automatically seals when I lock the lid into place. So we are all set here. Let's get our dressing put together. Okay, so our Instant Pot is working away in the background here. It hasn't quite caught up to pressure yet, but that's okay. We're gonna work on our dressing while that is happening. So um, we are going to add in some pickle juice. There's probably about three tablespoons worth. Now we're gonna add our sour cream. And I'm just using a little kind of multi-chopper blender thing, but you could just whisk this together in a bowl if you don't have one of these handy little gadgets, although this one's really, really handy. I use it a lot. We're gonna use some, um, a half cup of mayonnaise. This is just a light mayo. We 
we've got some salt and pepper. There's about probably um, a quarter to a half teaspoon of each, I would say. Okay. And now we're gonna add, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start with about two tablespoons, let's get the right measure here, of my dill dressing and powder. Now this might be a bit thick, but if it is, you can add either some water or even a little bit of milk if you wanted to, or I'll probably just add some more pickle juice because that's what makes it good. Put my lid on and let's give it a whirl. Okay, let's see here. We'll scrape down our sides a little bit. Make sure we get all the goodness off the sides. Smells really good. I do think we're gonna have to add some more pickle juice. All right. Do a little taste test. Mm. It tastes absolutely delicious, but I do think it's it's a little tiny bit thick even for potato salad. So we're gonna go back to our Pickle juice. I'll probably do another tablespoon and a half. You don't want your dressing for your potato salad to be sloppy like it would for a salad dressing, but I don't also think you want it incredibly thick. All right, I'm gonna use the opposite end of my spoon here to do a little taste test. Mm. and that is perfect. So I'm just going to toss this in the fridge until we're ready for our potatoes. Okay, so you can see the display on my Instant Pot there it has one minute of pressure cooking uh, time left at high pressure. And when you finish your pressure cooking cycle, it's going to beep, the pot will beep at you about five times, and then the display is going to change um, to what looks like an L on the left side of the display, zero, 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 and it's gonna start counting up, one, two, three, four, five. Um, I always say that the L is for leave it alone and let it, do its, uh, let it do its thing. That's for a natural pressure release. So when you're doing the, when you're talking about the eggs in particular, um, I know people have different formulas and stuff that they like to use in the Instant Pot. I usually find that 555, five, five, oh, there's our display changing. You can see L000. Now it's going to start counting up L001. And we're going to let it go till it's L006. Um, as I was saying though, four eggs in the Instant Pot, um, the, the, the general rules of thumb I find work best are either 555 or 666. Now that refers to five or six minutes at high pressure in your pot, five or six minutes of natural depressurization in the pot, and then five or six minutes where you take those eggs and you put them in a um, ice water bath or a cold water bath to stop the cooking. Okay, so let's just leave our pot. We'll be back in about six minutes. Okay, so our Instant Pot has counted up six minutes, so it's natural pressure release for six minutes. I'm just going to turn my pot around here and I'm gonna press my little um, vent about the steam. I've got a bowl here with some ice cubes in it, so this is um, what we're gonna use for our egg. And I've got some nice cold water out of my gula. And then as soon as all the steam has vented from here, we're gonna open the lid and we're gonna take those eggs out and we're gonna put them right into the cold water bath for another six minutes. So we're just waiting for our pin to drop and we'll hear a nice little click when the pin drops, meaning that there is no more pressure in the pot and it's safe. Oh, there's our pin. Uh, so now it's safe for us to take the lid off. So let's turn the pot around. Take the lid off, careful, because there's still steam. And we're gonna take our eggs right into our water bath. And we're just going to let that sit for another six minutes and meanwhile we can get started on our potato salad. 
Okay, it's been about six minutes in our ice water bath, and so now we're gonna show you the magic of doing your eggs in the Instant Pot and doing the 555 or the 666, whichever works for you. So I've got my egg out of the, the hot water bath. I'm just gonna give it a tap on the top of my pickle jar here just to crack the shell. I'm just gonna dunk it back in my water a little bit. And then when I go to pull the shell off, look at this. Easy to peel, perfect. No shell, no chunks of egg missing, right into our bowl. I'm gonna do this for one more. I've already got a couple in here, so we're gonna do four eggs all together. Again, just tapping to break my shell, giving it another little dunk in my ice bath. And then just start to loosen that shell. And again, it just, it, it just peels off so easy, it's crazy. You will wonder why you ever made eggs on the stovetop if you have an instant pot and try it this way. Perfect. So those go into my bowl. I'll just leave those ones. So I've got the majority of my potatoes are still in my pot. I have about maybe a cup worth of potatoes that I did take out of my um, pot. Uh, those we're gonna just like cool until they're cool enough that you can comfortably handle them with your hands. In here though, we're taking the potatoes that we had and our eggs, and we're just gonna give them a little bit of a mash. This is just gonna help make your salad nice and creamy when you go to put everything together. And again, we're not gonna add our dressing at this point. This is still pretty warm. I can feel a lot of steam coming off here. We're not gonna add our cheese. Our cheese would just melt. It would be gross and gloppy and yuck, you don't want that. So we're just going to mash this together and we'll be back when everything is cool and ready to put uh, together for the final assembly. Okay, potatoes are nice and cool, um, so it's great time now to make our uh, salad. So I'm just going to give my masher a bit of a scrape here, and I'll just sit that in my Instant Pot. To my bowl here with my mashed egg and my potatoes, I'm gonna add my bacon. Again, that was four slices of bacon that I had cooked crisp. I'm gonna add my pickles and some onion and some uh, and the celery. I don't think I'm gonna add all of the onion. That's an awful lot of onion. I'm gonna do about half the onion, but I'm gonna do every one of those pickles <laughs> because that's where the good stuff is. Give a little toss just to incorporate everything here. I'm gonna add my cheese is about a cup or maybe a little bit better of there's some yellow and there's some white extra old shredded cheddar cheese okay now for the magic the dressing so i'm going to add my dressing in and give this a toss and then i'm going to add the rest of my potatoes and toss everything all together just keep my finger on that so we don't lose it add about a good half my dressing in there Oh man, does this smell good. <laughs> Oops. Oh, and it's nice and creamy. Good grief. This would be fantastic alongside a delicious grilled hamburger or a steak. I think this weekend I'm gonna probably make a Mississippi pot roast in my Instant Pot and this is gonna be a great little on the side of that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to my Instant Pot. I'm gonna take my little vegetable trivet here. And we're going to add in the rest of our potatoes, which are now nice and cool. Oops, we've got a few left in the pot. Get those out of there, but make sure I don't get the water that was in the bottom of the pot. Don't need that. All right, now I'm going to toss everything all together here, and then I'm going to add the balance of my dressing and then just incorporate it. And then what you want to do is you want to put this in a fridge and you want this, the secret I think to really good potato salad is nice and icy cool, unless you're making a, like a warm German potato salad and then warm is good. But we are not going for warm. We are going for icy cold because this is supposed to be a pretty warm weekend up here in southwestern Ontario. There we go. Get all the goodness out of our dressing that we can. Go. 
scrape it off of the blades of our chopper. All right. And of course, you want to give it a little taste test before you put it in the fridge to see how everything's coming together. If it needs more salt, it needs more salt. If you want to add a little bit more pickle juice or anything at all, really, some more dill pickle dressing and dip mix. All right, moment of truth. All right, make sure I get a little bit of potato and a little bit of pickle. Oh, that is really, really good. My son is not a potato salad eater. Somehow I have a feeling he's going to make an exception for this, and I think you will too. So I hope you can try this recipe. Comment in, um, in the comments below. Let me know if it worked for you. Did you add anything else to it to make it special? What did you like? What didn't you like? And um, I guess we'll see you back in the kitchen again sometime soon. Take care now. Bye.